so today is Tuesday September 17th I'm in the car riding line pickup for my daughter but I just wanted to uh, quickly preface this video um, this is like a vlog or food ideas from last week but <laughs> it's like not full like days like there are no meals for the full day or a few days have passed so I apologize in advance for it being all over the place but um, I just wanted to share a few food ideas or share what I ate last week and um, thank you for being here so yeah I'll go ahead and show you guys what happened so this was a late night snack my husband had got some wing stop and so I decided to have a few pieces and y'all it wasn't even worth it it was not good <laughs> And then the next morning, I had this egg witch, uh, sandwich from Trader Joe's. Um, it had no flavor. I ate, I was able to eat like 75% of it. It was not good, y'all. I would not recommend. And so um, the next day, I made some crock pot white chicken chili. Um, I also made some crock pot uh, chicken pot pie, but this is without the biscuit. And so I just meal prepped for the week. Um, and then I wanted to try this beef uh, birria from Joe's. And so um, I'm using the keto tortillas for this. And so, y'all, this is how much birria came in that package. Like, totally not worth the price. I could have made my own birria for probably for less or equivalent. Um, but I'm just going to use these uh, keto friendly tortillas. And so I'm just going to have one birria taco. Um, and this is about two ounces or so of meat. And yes, I overstuffed it, but it was good. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add in some mozzarella cheese, um, some red onion, and some fresh cilantro. And then um, I was able to eat this whole taco. Uh, it had really good flavor. So the flavor itself was good. I just felt like they didn't put enough meat in the package um especially not for the price that you know i paid for it and so this is the taco it was really good um i just ate the taco itself because that was more than enough food for me and then later that day i made uh, a turkey bacon mushroom and onion frittata for the next day um which turned out really well so i just sauteed the onions and mushrooms some kale and then of course i'm going to season it with my favorite all-purpose seasoning um, I added about 10 eggs, some cheddar cheese, I cut up some turkey bacon, and then I baked it in my cast iron skillet. This was really delicious, you guys. And so this is the finished product. I just sprinkled more turkey bacon, some green onion, and some Parmesan. Good morning. So today is Friday, September 13th, Friday the 13th. Um, and I am just going to show you guys what I am having for a morning snack. I made an egg, uh, turkey, bacon, mushroom, and kale frittata yesterday. Um, and so I'm having that this morning. I actually made it last night, so I'm having it this morning. It has some cheddar cheese, some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Monterey Jack. Um, if you want extra protein, you can add cottage cheese, but I didn't do that. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the frittata. Um, and it's cut like this because of course I'm trying to, I was trying to cut it to my portion size. Um, so this is about three ounces. Um, and again, it just has turkey bacon, Parmesan, baby bella mushrooms, kale, and some cheeses. You can add cottage cheese. Um, it was really good. It is really good, you guys. Um, and so this is my morning snack. I had, uh, cinnamon roll protein shake for breakfast this morning and i'm also gonna have some coffee and some peach zero sugar drink with my miralax per usual and yeah that's the morning um i need to take my vitamins and my other medication um but it feels like a friday and i'm ready for the day to be over yeah so I bought these just bare, lightly breaded uh, chicken tenders from my local store. Um, it has 16 grams of protein for two pieces. And so I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. I only made one for myself and then I have the 
uh, Sam's Club oven roasted wing and then um, I had a smoothie for snack and so I also made some cube steak in the crock pot y'all this was so good and so I made it with some green beans and some mashed potatoes and so I just prepped me a few bowls for the week and so I've really been trying to make crock pot meals and so there is like separate videos for the recipes hey guys so today is Monday September 16th and I am about to eat a snack <laughs> I guess it's a snack it's salad um but I had a uh, strawberries and cream protein shake for breakfast and then for lunch I had the cube steak and gravy with some green beans and mashed potatoes and then now I'm about to make a salad with some chicken tenders on it so these are the chicken tenders this is the just bare lightly breaded chicken breast strips and so I'm heating up two of them um and so serving size is two pieces 85 grams um and so 16 grams of protein five grams of fat and then 10 carbs and so i'm just gonna put this on some salad with some salad dressing so these are the two tenders i'm just gonna cut it up and put it on my salad so this is the salad it's about 1.3 ounces of salad. This is 2.3 ounces of chicken. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this, but we'll see. And of course, I'm using my favorite Skinny Girl Fat-Free Sugar-Free Chipotle Ranch. And so I'm just gonna put some of this on there. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna eat of course i finished my salad it was delicious and so later for dinner we went to a mexican restaurant to celebrate my oldest uh, birthday and so i couldn't decide what i wanted to eat um typically i get carnitas if i go to a mexican restaurant or i'll get like the mixed uh mixture of fajitas with like the steak chicken and shrimp but i didn't want like a big plate of food because i knew i wasn't going to eat that much of it so um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to just share a meal with my husband, but he doesn't eat like red meat and stuff. So, um, so I didn't share. And then I was like, okay, well maybe I'll take a look at the kids menu to see what they had. And then I was like, Ooh, I wish I could have a drink. Um, but I didn't, I just had the kids meal, one taco with rice and refried beans and I just ended up eating the meat off of the taco shell and then a little bit of the beans. And my stomach was hurting so bad after this, y'all. And my husband's so petty. He took pictures of me contemplating my decision to eat that taco. <laughs> and so this is actually yesterday, last night, I decided to have some Halo Top cookies and cream ice cream. And um, I'm only going to eat, it's like a little less than a fourth of a cup of this and so i just topped this with some fat free whipped cream some double fudge skinny syrup as well as the salted caramel one hey guys so today is wednesday september 18th um i'm just trying to wrap up this video i'm not feeling the best today mentally <laughs> I am just so anxious today for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's just me or do other people have like a midlife crisis like every month? <laughs> I swear every month I question, what am I doing in my life? I swear I do. Um, I'm trying to stay optimistic, but you know, you just wake up some days and just like, why? <laughs> today is that day for me um but i just wanted to wrap up the video um i will try to make my next um what i eat in a week video uh i'll try to make it more organized so that it's not just random um footage of food um i hope to be a little bit more organized so that you can see like each day like breakfast snack lunch dinner all that stuff um and be more consistent with that so um but i do want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel 
I truly appreciate the support. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, and I'm going to try to, you know, push out some more videos. And um, let, me, let me know what you guys want to see. What, like, if you are interested in more of the VSG videos, uh, what types of things would you like to see outside of what I eat in a day? What questions do you have for me? Um, or if you're wanting to see more cooking videos, what types of recipes are you interested in? Or like in general, what kinds of foods do you like? Uh, and that will give me a better idea of what type of content um, I'll try to make. But yeah, thank you for being here. And um, I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.